Now in this video, I'm going to share with you how to create a reflective material. This reflective material is particularly important because it will allow us to simulate materials such as mirror, such as polished stainless steel, such as chrome surfaces, for example. I'm going to start with creating a geometry from Create tab, Geometry, Extended Primitives, and Torus Knot. So I will start by creating one of this and pulling it to the center of the scene. somewhere here. Alright, let's do a test render by going to rendering, render, so we can now see that the geometry is in green color at this point without any materials applied to it. The torus knot is often a good geometry to evaluate reflective surfaces because of its curvish because of its organic shape or curved shape nature it will allow us to capture the reflective qualities of the environment that the geometry is actually residing in at this point so let's go ahead and take a look at how to configure a reflective material so I'm going to start with using any blank material slots here and I'm going to choose standard. I'm going to click on this button standard here and look for a ray trace material. The ray trace material can be found under the scan line header and ray trace so I can double click on it or I can click OK and with this I'm just going to select the geometry now and click on assign material to selection here and with this we can do a test render to see what happens You can see that at the moment it doesn't have any reflective qualities just yet. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what we can do to it. So the key parameter that controls the reflectivity would be this one under reflect here. So black being no reflection at all. But if we were to set this one to very high value nearly towards all the way to white so we're going to set it to let's say to about 215 now let's take a look again and do a test render You can now see that the material now has become highly reflective. We're going to try to see if there are any changes if we were to make some change to the specular values here, the specular highlights here. So I'm going to raise this to 100 and set the glossiness to 0 from here. You can see now that with the increased specular highlights, the reflections become very, very whitish in this case. I'm going to make a clone of this rendered image frame so that we can do a comparison later on after we make some subtle changes to it. 
So I'm going to now reverse this by changing it to by changing the specular color to absolute black at this point and doing a render again. Let's compare the difference here. You can now see that with the reduced specular highlight of white color, the material now becomes a whole lot more metallic or chrome like compared to the more polished aluminum like finish in this case. So depending on whether you want something more mirror-ish or chrome or polished stainless steel like finish you might need to tweak the specular levels a little or the specular colors or we need it to be more polished aluminum like finish okay now with this i'm gonna see if we can uh, create other shiny materials or not this is often they're not a, a bigger challenge here uh, amongst new users. Huh? So I'm going to try to create another clone of this, of this Taurus knot. Huh? So I'm going to just uh, select and hide away the sofa now and create a clone of this Taurus. And I'm going to just place it right beside the existing one here. Okay. And uh, let's click on the material editor again and this time round I'm going to select another empty slot down here and uh, instead of us having to configure I'm going to share with you another method of which which makes things a little bit easier to use uh, because there are templates given all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on standard again and this time round I'm going to change it to a physical material here and with the physical material uh, our lives becomes a little bit easier because we can now click on the choose presets here and we can go scroll down and perhaps look at some of these metal finishes here these metal materials here uh, then let's look at perhaps uh, gold for example or in this case uh, let's try satin gold okay and with this uh, it's a gold material with a satin finish right so I'm gonna apply it to the new Taurus knot clone here and I'm again going to do another test render to see the effects As you can see, it's pretty easy to configure a material for use, especially with difficult to prepare materials using the presets down here. Okay, so I'm just going to make another clone of this one more time. Huh? Another copy of this in front. And I'm just going to shift everything behind a little bit. And this time round, I'm going to use another slot, look for the physical material again. And I'm going to choose, let's say the polished gold finish. And then we're going to test render it one more time again. So I will right click to select the viewport that I want to use. And then I'll click on render. You can now see that the difference between the satin and the polished gold 
is the highlights the clarity of the highlights here it's a lot sharper and a lot clearer compared to a little bit more diffused um, when you look at the satin gold finish here okay this part so do take some time to explore some of these preset materials here and uh, figure out how to change some of these parameters slightly and to see whether you can yield better finishes that you can personalize for your own.